crafty friends alicia from love letter generation hope you're all doing well i am on here with a little haul so i have a few bits and pieces that i have been recently purchasing from timu and yeah these are my craft related items that i grabbed so i thought i'd um jump on and share them with you i have some really pretty things like um glitter foam that you can use for your um, shaker embellishments some cute little gift boxes beads just yeah lots of little different bits and pieces so um the first thing i will share with you are these cute little gift boxes that i hauled and i will try and leave the links down below for you guys you can go find them yourself and I'm also going to leave like a, an affiliate um, coupon code down below as well. So I would um, be very grateful if you guys could use that if you're placing an order through Timu because yeah, it really helps helps me out. And yeah, I said if I haven't had not one person <laughs> um, use my code yet. Um, so yeah, I would really appreciate it if you are going to place an order, you know, whether you think of um using that code i know it doesn't like get you a discount or anything but yeah it just helps me um with a little bit of like a i guess sort of like a percentage of the the sale so um let's see i know so crinkly <laughs> So this one, you get so many in the pack and a whole heap of ribbons as well. So I grabbed the pink plaid and I believe you get 10, I think it is in the box and it comes with a little gift um, ribbon there. So you can use that or not, it's up to you. So I thought these little gift boxes were so adorable. I haven't put it together yet. This is the first time me opening these oops I wasn't meant to fold that <laughs> that way so yeah this is the first time me sort of looking at these items I have been away um I went on a like a little vacation with my husband just a small trip um to a little town in New South Wales like a coastal town and I, it's so relaxing um we sort of go away in our camper to you know, unwind, get away from our busy everyday lives. And I find that it really helps um, with mental health. I know that when I go away, I don't get my, I don't get my anxiety when I'm away camping with my husband. It's just so good for me. I get out in the sun, I exercise and I don't get a whole lot of sleep, but I come back feeling, you know, really refreshed and yeah, it's just a nice thing to do. All right, so I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. And I could have already done one before I started the video, couldn't I? But I didn't think of that. <laughs> I know it goes something like this. So, for example, I've done that around the wrong way. I believe these little flappy bits go in here. I loved the size of this gift box. I thought it was so cute. So I think there. Yeah. So your little flap bits go in there. You then that goes over like that. And there's like a little um, piece here. Sorry, I did accidentally bend that before when I wasn't supposed to. Just not paying attention. But this is meant to go this bit here just being a bit a bit stubborn on me you know sometimes it's really hard to get things in those like the slits I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know if I need to push that in a bit more yep I think that was the key I just had to push that in a bit So 
so your box ends up looking like that there's a little um like hole on top you can poke out to pop the the ribbon through but how adorable are these so cute i love how it's just yeah really interesting style and i love the pink um and the plaid on that i think that's really cute And yeah, I'm pretty sure you get 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, 10. So you get 10 of those gift boxes. And like I said, look at how, they're so adorable. <laughs> so, so adorable. Um, the next thing that I will share with you are these gorgeous little flowers that I decided to grab. I, they're in the mixed color. So you get a variety of all kinds of different colours. They are so pretty. They've got like little um, rhinestones on the top. So you could just glue these to your project. And they're nice and um, sturdy as well. Love that mustard yellow colour. With that I'm just going to, going to um, come up and show you a close-up whoops I just dropped one how pretty are they I thought the colors were so beautiful so then you can just stick them onto your project by just gluing some pretty little flowers onto your project something like you know, something like that, for example. I think they're going to look really cute. So you get a heap of those. Um, I have a feeling it might be a 50 pack. And the colours are just beautiful. Oh, look at all those pretty colours. I'll just put them there so you can have a little look. But yeah, gorgeous colours in that 50 pack of flower embellishments. Um, next we have some really pretty gemstones. I thought these would be gorgeous for in the centres of flower embellishments. They've got like an iridescent shine to the bottom of them. And I just grabbed the one colour because I wanted to see what they were like um, before I grabbed more. But they did come in other colours. So these, this I think, what colour did I grab? This is the... It's called Four Purple Cat Eyes. You get 30 pieces and they are the 10 millimeter in size. So they're called the Purple Cat Eyes. <laughs> so they've got like a bit of a, um, a pink shine through them as well. I think because of that iridescent sort of behind them, they are so pretty. I just try to move them around just so you can just see the gorgeous sort of colors in there. I'm sorry, I do need to get my my nails done badly, but they like said I've been away, so <laughs> I haven't had time. And I've also been busy with yeah all my crafty projects, um, being on all those the design teams I'm on at the moment. So yeah, constantly die cutting. <laughs> So the next thing I grabbed were just these little gold leaves. I thought they'd just be nice to pop behind a project. Um, I did think that they were going to be a lot nicer than this. I thought they were going to be little small, like little small gold leaves, but they're actually quite big. So um, let me just check. 
in put my ruler around the wrong way centimeters so yeah from the sort of the top of the leaf to the bottom of the leaf they're like five centimeters long which is quite long and then including the stalk as well you're going up to about between 10 and 11 centimeters and then um the width of like how fat they go up to it's about I would say about three and a half centimeters um, along this way so yeah they're, they're quite big I thought they were going to be a lot tinier I'll just um, give you the measurement for this box too once it's done up because I know some of you were probably wanting to know the size so done up into a cute little gift box it is 10 centimeters by by nine centimeters and the thickness well it does change so the bottom piece um which is the wider part of the box is about four and a half and then it goes up to the the top piece is which is the shorter width it's about three and a half centimeters so yeah that's um love that really cute <laughs> so the next thing I grabbed is kind of like um flower related as well I thought I'd also grab some of these to tuck behind some of my projects they're like those little um flower center pieces you can sort of pop behind your flowers so you get a whole heap in here and I got these in the they're like a shiny like the mustardy yellow sort of color so it says orange but to me that's that's definitely not orange <laughs> so I'll just see if I can grab one to show you what I mean as to how I'm going to be sort of using these just got to be careful not to pop all the little beads off there we go so for example if you're going to create a project you could pop these cute little like this piece here and then you would have like your flowers hang on and get this to work for me it basically works as like a decoration behind your um flower embellishments when, tr when you're trying to make something look really you know nice and pretty you just yeah stick those little little pieces um behind your floral pieces and then you could even using the gold leaf but yeah like I said I thought these were going to be a lot smaller pretty much around this sort of size or smaller but they're not so um, this one is quite quite big but I think that sort of gives you an idea of what I'm trying to um, trying to explain when you're sort of putting these all behind to decorate something pretty. So lots of big, you know, floral embellishments and all these little material type flowers. So yeah, so they're the orange, but to me they're a nice, pretty yellow. <laughs> Definitely not an orange color. Um, I also grabbed some in the pale, what do you call it, purple? They call it purple, but to me it's like a beautiful lavender sort of lilac colour. And I think you get about, it's like 50 or 100 pieces, I believe. I can't quite remember, but yeah, that will be down below when you click on the link. 
um, you'll see how many you get. But yeah, how pretty are the purple ones? I think they're gorgeous. And they had a whole heap of other colours, but they ran out of a lot of the colours that I liked. So, so I was like, okay, I'll just get the, the purple and the, the orange um, just to begin with, see what they're like. And um, then I can probably get some more. Like, I did want some pink ones, but from memory, the pink um, was out of stock at the time. Okay, the next thing I have to share with you are some beautiful beads. I grabbed these. I thought they were so pretty. They're like your um, sort of crystal type bead. So they're really high quality. And the reason I grabbed these is because I'm wanting to start doing my own, like making my own little bracelets and... Um, like just do some jewellery making. I'm wanting to start creating my own earrings, bracelets, key rings. And I thought this would make a really pretty um, bracelet. Those gorgeous colours. I hope the, the camera's doing them justice because, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. And then I grabbed the, this one. Um, this one was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's actually quite a very um, tiny chain, but it's still really, really pretty. And like I said, I think these would make like a really nice um, bracelet to gift someone. So that's what I'm planning on doing with these, turning these into like bracelets. I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, like mixing and matching, mix matching, matching mix. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm going to be using a whole heap of different little beads and bits and pieces to try and, you know, create my own, I guess, design of jewelry, if that makes sense. Um, so next we have these cute little pendants. These are little um, light purple umbrellas that you can stick onto your dangles. And I've been eyeing these off for such a long time, um, but I thought I'd finally get them, but I just wanted to go the light purple. They, did, they do get a bit, um, a bit bent in the post, so keep that in mind. See how my umbrella's just gone like funny, a bit squiff but it's easily fixable um it is quite a very light sort of um eye pin that they've used on there but you can see it comes with a cute little umbrella handle then you've got your little eyelet piece a little hook on the top there just fix that because that's also a little bit bent i should use my um my pliers that's what we have them for to straighten it up there we go so that worked isn't it gorgeous and they do feel um it's like a plasticky type material from what I can feel. But look at that really interesting pattern on that. Hope you guys can see that. It's really pretty. It's like a pinky purple transparent pattern. It's gorgeous. So you get... I think it's meant to be... Did I only get four? It must have been only a four pack. At least they've all got a bit, a bit bent. 
um, but yeah, it's easy to bend. Bend these back. Um, they're quite a light sort of um, metal piece that they've used here for the head pin. So yeah, you can just grab your jewelry pliers and pop them back, back into shape. So the next thing I grabbed was this little bottle. I thought this would be handy for um, when, I'm, when I'm wanting to use a fine tip with my gluing. So I grabbed this little bottle, it comes with this fine tip here. don't know if you guys can see that. So what you just do is you could just pour some of your um, glue into here and then use that when you're wanting to create like finer, smaller um, projects. Or you can use it when you're, um, you know, you're on the go, on the road, wanting to take like your little um, holiday craft caddy with you. You can just put a bit of glue in there and take that. And it's, instead of having to take, you know, like for example, a whole big giant, I'm just trying to grab it instead of taking like a big you know giant bottle you can put it in a smaller like almost like a little travel size bottle so that's why I grabbed that um, I then grabbed a little mini um, hole punch I've been wanting just like a little small heart one um, so you can punch out like your own confetti um, from memory this was like all of these things were you know pretty good price I did think it was going to be a little bigger but again that's me not knowing really I guess my sizes it did come in a different variety of sizes at different prices so if I want to go ahead and get a bigger one I can just go and get the bigger size um, from this one so let me just see this one it says the size is five by eight I'm guessing is that what five by eight millimeters I'm thinking that's what they mean so I would say maybe get one if you wanted a little bit bigger um, than this size as, as you can see I'll see if I can get this off it creates you know tiny little hearts so I'd go maybe up to a, a 10 or more if you wanted a bit bigger than this which I'll probably be doing I, I want to grab like different a variety of um, sizes and shapes with my um, punches I then have a couple of uh, Halloween items that I grabbed I wanted to grab them before they disappeared so I'll be using them for next Halloween. I saw these gorgeous um, pink pattern sort of spider web beads. They came in a variety of other colors. They were almost sold out so I don't know if they are now by the time I'm showing this video. Um, but they had like orange and white and I think purple. It might have been a, a black from memory but yeah. I thought I'd go with the pink spider web with the spider on there and they got quite a large hole as you guys can see so you can fit that onto your pokey tool or on your um, key rings your DIY, DIY key rings and um, DIY beaded pens I thought they were really cute. So yeah, had to have them before they before they sold out. So I would love to get the, the orange ones as well because they looked quite nice from what I could see online. And you get um, 10 in the pack. I'm just seeing if it's got the size. I don't think it does. I have a feeling they could be 10 or 12 millimeter quite possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Um, the next item is also Halloween. They're like little resin pieces. I thought they would be really cute to stick, like drill a little hole in the top and turn them into little pendants. 
they almost look like those little um, shrinky dink charms that some of us make with the shrink paper. So I thought they were really cute. I had a feeling there was meant to be a bit of pink in these though, but I know it's a mixed pack, so maybe I just missed out or I'm not thinking of the, the right thing, but I thought these were really cute to turn into um, charms for when you're doing your Halloween crafting next year. And you don't have to turn them into charms. That was just my idea for them. I thought they were really cute. They're like little resin flatback pieces. You got Boo, a bat, little skeleton head, and his nose looks like a little heart, which I thought was really cute. Um, some spiders, some witches hats. So I thought they were adorable. Something different. It saves me having to get out my shrink paper and make my own because I'm not very uh, good at it. <laughs> I know, I should practice, you know, get better, but, you know. Um, so, last couple of things I have to share with you. So pretty. <laughs> and a couple of them are like um, Barbie related. So, if you're not really into Barbie, then, yeah, you're welcome to leave. But I think they are gorgeous, whether you're a Barbie lover or not. So I ended up finding or grabbing the um, Barbie charms or pendants. So you get, is it six or eight? Oh gosh, I can't. My eyesight is so bad I can't even see that writing. And I've got new glasses as well. Let me just count them. Two, four. Six, eight, yep. So you get eight pendants, different sort of shapes and colours. They are mainly pink. Um, that's around the wrong way. I've seen a few people haul these, so I thought, yep, I'm going to have to get some. It's so pretty. I'm just going to pop them down and show you each one or each different style so it doesn't get a bit too much. Sorry, my phone decided to start beeping at me then with my sensor that I've got on my arm. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I saw uh, Sasha from uh, Just For You Paper Crafts, I believe it is. She um, hauled some of these and shared them on her channel. And they're so pretty. And I had seen them before, but I sort of was umming and ahhing about them. But then when I saw Sasha had grabbed them, I thought, yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> You're a bad influence. <laughs> no, you're not. I think we all influence each other, don't we? <laughs> when it comes to our shopping. Um, so you get these cute Barbie star ones. You got the black with the pink. You've got the gold with the pink. So you can see each um, pendant is a little bit different. Like the metal colours can be different. But I like that you get a really good um, variety. I'm probably not, I guess, as fond as this one. It's a bit too, I don't know. I don't really like this vintagey plaque sort of piece at the back, but I will still use them. But I mainly wanted them for, um, yeah, all these cute little star Barbie pendants. I thought they were adorable. Very, very cute. So I love the colours of those. I hope I showed you guys all of those then. So yeah, you get, you get eight. And they're all different 
I said pink and gold backings, same with that one. So you're basically getting one of each different pattern in a different um, colour. So the next thing I found, um, and this was new, I hadn't seen it before, it's called like Pink Power. Um, it's a patterned paper, you get 12 sheets and it is 6x6. Six six. But I thought this might be really cute. And yeah, I'm wanting to to see what it's like for if I go to do like a Barbie themed um, Happy Mail, like a Barbie themed swap. At least I'll have something or some kind of paper that's Barbie related. So the first sheet is just you know, showing you what you get. So that's a thin one, but the rest of it feels quite, um, it's, it's not too bad. Like, I'm wondering, does it have what the GSM? No, I don't think it does. No, it doesn't tell me what the GSM is. So you get this pattern here. You get the star pattern. You get this cool print here. This is the main reason I grabbed it. <laughs> Um, some stars and like I said this is um, the GM GSM of this paper feels um, quite good almost feels like um, oh what would I say similar to maybe Maggie Holmes thickness quite possibly I'll have to test that out but yeah it's not like really you know flimsy it's quite good This Barbie one here, and this one. So it looks like you get yeah quite a few of each um, pattern. So you've already seen. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So that actually, sorry, that is different. I just noticed. So this one's just got um, stars with the words on there, and then this one actually has a um, silhouette of a Barbie doll, a female, standing there, and then this one doesn't have as many, um, like the other one had tiny stars, this one has bigger stars, it's sort of more separated, the pattern, and then you've got Diamonds and stars in a darker pink. And then you've got a paler, paler pink diamonds and stars. And let me just check. Yep. So... Yeah, aren't they fun? And I believe that one is just a solid um, pink star on white. So how cute are they? There was another pack. I didn't quite like the look of that one. I thought this one was much prettier for me. So, um, But there is another one over on Timu that, you know, if you're looking to find... Um, some like Barbie themed patterned paper. They do have it now. So, and then you've got the little pendants and then soon we can make our own whole Barbie themed mail. <laughs> so the last thing I grabbed was some foam um, that I like to use when I'm creating my like shaker embellishments. Um, let me see if I've got an example here to show you. No, I don't think I do. Oh, here we go. So, for example, when I made the um, Mr. Nutcracker cake um, 
using the Scrap Diva Designs die. I, I always use like um, foam when I'm wanting my projects to be quite thick and sturdy. So I ended up finding this like pink glittery foam. Um, you get, hmm, I'm just trying to see how many sheets you get. It just says it's A4 foam pink and it is 20 by 30 centimeters, which is like a, it's got 8 by 12 inch. So I think it's split on the side. Let me see. One, two, three, four, six, eight, ten. So you get ten, ten sheets. And it's not a very sort of um, thick foam, but I think this is going to work really nicely um, when you're creating like your word, like sentiment um, embellishments. So for example, I have this embellishment here. I use my thick foam. Then you cut the top piece out with this and stick that on as the top bit. And it's just going to give your um yes your word sentiments some nice um dimension but it's also going to give it a really pretty pink sparkle so yeah I thought I'd try that out and um yeah see how we go but I absolutely love some of these things that I that I found so um hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one Take care. Bye.